What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today I'm gonna to show you guys a tip on your Samsung Galaxy phone. What well, actually works on pretty much any Android phone because it is a developer option from the Android settings that you've probably never seen before that allows you to take control of your Samsung display and get a lot more screen real estate, basically turning into a tablet mode of sorts. But you can also use this setting to do quite a few things and we'll take a look at the different things that you can do here. So before we get started, I do wanna thank my son, Jonathan. We've got a lion and a Velociraptor hanging out today. We've got the animal dinosaur combo. We always appreciate him giving us some cool animals, dinos to hang out in the video. Also wanna remind you guys, if you are gonna be ordering a Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, S24 Ultra, you can get a mystery box from us. We've been doing this now for a couple of years. You get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, other cool accessories. This is United States only. Put in your email, first name, last name. We cover shipping as well, no cost to you. All you have to do is use our Samsung affiliate link when you place your order at launch on the Samsung US website. We ship them out a couple weeks after the phone launches so that you get it uh, a couple weeks after you receive your phone. It does take a lot of logistics because we send out thousands of these now. Really happy to do it for the community this year. We're also going to be giving away some Samsung TVs randomly to those who participate in the Mystery Box program. Check out the link below to sign up for that. So then what I want to show you guys today has to do with developer options. So first of all, if you haven't turned on developer options before, I have a video where I've done this. I'll drop the link below to kind of show the process, but it's very simple. You go into about phone, you go into your software options, you tap on the build number a bunch of times until it says you're a developer, and then you're good to go. Um, in fact, it's really not that hard. Let me go ahead and just do it. I'm gonna go into about phone. Uh, I've gotta hide my phone number here because my phone number is also there. That's the annoying thing about going in there and doing this. Go to build number and just tap on this. You see I'm already a developer, so it just shows that it's already on. Anyway. If you, once you turn it on, you're gonna see developer options down here at the bottom. And uh, when you tap on that, it takes you into a bunch of cool options that you can modify with your phone that you wouldn't have access to without turning on the developer options. And there's some cool stuff in here. Now you shouldn't mess with everything in here unless you really know what you're doing. That's why I'm gonna explain to you what this feature does in particular so that you're aware. Um, but it, it is something fun to play around with, especially if you're into kind of tinkering with your phone. So if you go in here in developer options and you search for minimum width, this option right here, you'll notice if you go down to where the minimum width is, you'll see that you'll have a default value there. Now mine is 384 DP. Now this basically depends on what you choose for your uh, font size, like how, how zoomed in your font is for the default UI, which is something you can choose in the regular settings. Uh, I believe this can go all the way up to 411 by changing the defaults in the Samsung settings. Now, with your defaults, uh, your apps are gonna look like, you know, depending on what you have, either the font's gonna look more or less zoomed in, so it looks smaller or larger, but you know, your default apps are gonna look like phone apps. So like, here's my calendar, for instance, it looks like this. Um, and in fact, let me see if I turn on auto-rotate too, so you guys can kind of see how it will look if I have auto-rotate on. I almost never keep it on, so I have to make sure I turn it on when I do these kind of videos. Uh, if you do it in landscape mode, then it looks like this on your phone. But it basically looks like a phone app. Now, if you change this, you're gonna get more screen real estate in applications like the calendar. So for instance, if you change this to 611, hit okay. Now this is going to change it. Look how much extra screen real estate you get on your device in everything. But in particular, if you go into something like calendar, now look at all this real estate you get. And when you do it in something like landscape mode, now you have the menu over here and your calendar in the middle. This is also very useful for things like Samsung Notes, uh, your email, pretty much anything though. You will notice that your text, you know, at the bottom of your apps looks a lot smaller here as well. That's kind of the point. If you use something like Twitter, you've now got a lot more screen real estate. And of course your text is also a bit smaller. So for apps where you do have those menus though, and like the calendar, this is a great way to take advantage of that extra screen real estate especially with a big phone like the S23 Ultra. If you use it in landscape mode, that could be very useful. And like I said, something like Samsung Notes, if you have your S Pen and you wanna use Samsung Notes, this could be a very useful way to kind of use it in landscape mode like this. And now you've got all of your notes right there and kind of go through and use it in a little more productive way. So this is a very good hack to kind of get your phone uh, into a bit more of a productivity machine. Now, of course, when you're done with that, you can easily switch back. Uh, you really wanna make sure that you keep a note of what that minimum was as you're going through and doing this. 
because if you don't, then of course you won't be able to go back and set it to the default when you finish. So you can scroll back down, find the minimum width, and then put back in the minimum value that was already there. So you'll find it right there. Mine was 384, hit okay. And now it's gonna take it back to looking exactly like it did. It does take some time, you gotta close your apps because it's gotta readjust to the width. And now your apps look exactly like they did before. So you can switch back and forth between this. One thing that you will notice, for those of you who are used to my little widget there from 1.4 KWGT, is KWGT does not like it when you change the minimum width. So you actually have to re-add the widget again. That is a little bit of an annoyance if you do use those widgets. So I do want to point it out. There are some shortcomings to doing these kind of things, playing around with developer options, etc. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the tip. Hope you can make some use of it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe to the notification icon, future videos like this. Again, if you're going to order an S24, S24 Plus, S24 Ultra in January and you're in the United States, sign up for the mystery box, get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, etc. Really excited to do that for the community. Stay tuned for more One UI 6.0 coverage and uh, just more great Android and Samsung coverage in general. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.